Hi everyone, Renee here. So I have another sunscreen video for you. So previously I did my most recent favorite all mineral sunscreen picks, and this video is gonna be about all my other favorites. A lot of new sunscreens have come out, so I'm just gonna be sharing with you what I feel are the standouts and the ones that I've been enjoying wearing the most. These sunscreens use mainly all chemical filters, so no matter what your skin tone is, you won't really have problems with cast because they are completely clear. If you wanna learn more about the specific filters that are in the sunscreens that I'm talking about today, then I will link you to a blog post where I list all of them so you can have a better idea of exactly what they do, what UV rays they're particularly good at blocking. I made this post to accompany my last year's favorite sunscreens video, which honestly still has some of my all-time favorite sunscreens, my ride or dies. We're gonna start off with Probably my favorite new sunscreen from Keep Cool, their Soothe Bamboo Sun Essence with an SPF of 50 and a PA of four pluses. This brand is all about its bamboo extract, which is not a new ingredient in K-Beauty, but I feel like right now it is really getting the recognition that it deserves. Other than being nutritious, rich in antioxidants, hydrating, soothing and calming, and very sustainable, bamboo also has some natural silica in it. So it gives your skin a really nice glowy finish. So this sits in a base of bamboo water, and it really is that soothing, calming formula. This also has niacinamide, centella asiatica, and it has seven weights of hyaluronic acid. I mean, you can feel immediately upon application how hydrating this is. It really is so beautiful. And then it just disappears. This sinks in and dries down uber fast, one of the most lightweight formulas, and it leaves a sort of velvet skin finish. I mean, there is no weight to it, so there's no heaviness, there's no oiliness, shininess. I feel like this is not just good for even the most sensitive skin. I would even go to say that if your skin is slightly irritated or inflamed, this is a great sunscreen to use. There's nothing astringent in here. There's no alcohol, there's no fragrance. This uses the same UV filters that are in my favorite Claire's UV Airy Essence. These are modern filters that give us powerful protection, but also are designed not to irritate the skin. For comparison purposes, Claire's UV Airy Essence is beautifully hydrating and moisturizing, and it leaves your skin with a silky finish. This, on the other hand, is way more lightweight. Another one that is so light, Peter Thomas Roth's Water Drench with an SPF of 45, Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. This is the latest addition to PTR's Water Drench line, which is all about hydration. What's really cool about this is when you first apply it, you get that whoa moment. It's the same reaction I had when I tried Paula's Choice Electrolyte Moisturizer because this turns from cream to water. It goes through a texture change as you apply it, even though it's sort of thin and light and the finish is very much on the velvety side, like it does not finish shiny at all. This is very moisturizing. This is more moisturizing than the Keep Cool, which is more about just hydration and being that non-invasive layer of sunscreen. This has all the skin strengthening ingredients in it. It's got five different types of ceramides as well as cholesterol and phytosphingosine. This is the holy trinity of just keeping that skin barrier strong and repairing it. This has the plant oils and also a hydrating complex that is made up of 30% hyaluronic acid, but this complex is designed to help keep hydration in our skin for 72 hours. All of my top picks for sunscreen sit really well under makeup. They have to, it's part of my criteria. But if you're looking for a makeup primer that also will give you sunscreen protection, I'm really impressed with Olay Sun Facial Sunscreen and Antioxidants. This has an SPF of 35 and it's a makeup primer. This is great for that everyday sunscreen under makeup when you're just getting incidental exposure and you're not getting like heavily exposed. You're not doing major outdoor activities. This is your typical primer texture. Again, really lightweight and it smooths out beautifully. And while doing so, it kind of blurs out your pores. This will also remove any excess shine. And I find that it's also really good at keeping that shine away throughout the day, but it won't dry or dehydrate your skin at all. This has niacinamide in it. It's got green tea extract. This has a very slight fragrance that's quite unnoticeable to me. It's not um, overwhelming and it does go away quite quickly. I can't not talk about EV, even though I know how frustratingly difficult it is for those of you in the U.S. to get your hands on this. In my last year's review, I talked about all the ways in which I felt like Evie is just such a superior sunscreen. And I was actually talking about the 
face and body sunscreen because that was the only one I was able to get my hands on at the time. It's something I used on my face. I used everywhere and it is slightly more moisture. In fact, no, it's a very moisturizing sunscreen. So for a lot of people, for the face, that might be heavy. For me, that's like a one-step moisturizer sunscreen. I don't need anything else. It's moussey and light in texture, and there are some beautiful skin beneficial ingredients in it, but this actually gives off a sort of more velvet finish, so it's not as dewy. In fact, it was created to act like a primer for makeup, and that is something it does really, really well. It's a fantastic primer. And what I love about these formulas, because they're made for such sensitive skin, like you can use it on eczema, you can use it on if you have sun allergies, but this is also um, tested so that you can use it on on your eyes as well. So you can use it on your mobile eyelids. I've also demonstrated on how easy this is for reapplication because it's moussey and airy. The biggest benefit is in the patent they have on how long wearing this is. It's really, really special in that you apply it once, you allow it to absorb and dry down, and then you just can't simply rub it off. So Olympic athletes use this, swimmers. In fact, I mentioned in a previous video how I conducted my own test with this. I had access to one of those those cameras with the special UV lens, which detects um, the UV protection on your skin after you put sunscreen on. So I applied this before makeup, before even before skincare, actually, at 7 a.m. in the morning, got a picture taken. And then at 1 p.m., I got a picture taken and nothing had budged. It's the same level of it, I mean, it basically looks like you have black tar on your face. I have a few drugstore favorites that I think are just beautiful moisturizers slash sunscreens. So starting with the lightest weight that's great for oilier skin types is this one from Saravi. Their Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion with a broad spectrum SPF of 30. This gives a shine-free, dry touch matte finish. Although I use this as a separate sunscreen over my moisturizer because it is really that lightweight. When I use it that way, I feel like it gets rid of any kind of excess shine, but still it will let a glow come through. Cerave's moisturizer formulas are just so solid. They've got the ceramides, like three different ceramides, the cholesterol, the spidus vingazine, which is that trinity. It's just making sure that our skin barrier is strong and can really hold in and retain moisture. They got the hydration as well, and they're just great for all skin types, especially if you have sensitive skin. The other one that I've already talked about a lot is this one from La Roche-Posay. Their Tolerian Double Repair Moisturizer UV with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I've already been, for a long time, a huge fan of their Double Repair Moisturizer, so this is just kind of a no-brainer for me. It's got that two-in-one um, aspect to it. These formulas have a base of their prebiotic thermal water. They also contain niacinamide, ceramides. This is a more moisturizing formula than the Cerave. So this is for a wider range of skin types. I believe that people with oily skin can use this as well because it's not that creamy. It's kind of got a creamy gel texture. And for those with really dry skin, this is actually as a great moisturizing sunscreen over your um, moisturizer. Unfortunately, I mean, I get asked about this all the time, but I do believe at this point, this is still a US exclusive. The most lusciously moisturizing one that I love is this one from Black Girl Sunscreen. Their moisturizing sunscreen lotion with a broad spectrum SPF of 30. Like the others, this is a gentle formula that can be used on sensitive skin. It also doesn't contain any fragrance if that is your preference or your need. But this is like a rich moisturizer. This is a creamy formula that has some beautiful plant oils and butters in it, and it's fantastic for anyone with dry skin. Or if you're in a dry desert climate, this is also a great winter sunscreen, or just anyone who wants more moisturizing. This gives a beautiful silky glow on the skin. It sits under makeup. Yeah, no, I've been really enjoying this just to further frustrate my friends in the US. And of course, this is all unintentional, but I do wanna talk about another brand called Ultraviolet. This is an Australian brand. Australian sunscreens have probably the strictest standards for protection. I've mentioned this before as my favorite hand cream with an SPF. It just gets all the elements right, the textural elements, the um, invasiveness, how fast and well it sinks into the skin, and then how it leaves your skin just feeling perfectly moisturized. But during the summer, I've been using this all over and it is just a 
beautiful body sunscreen. And I love that it actually leaves your skin looking really, really radiant. In fact, this makes my skin look straight up magical. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And there is a slight coconut scent to it, but it's not like a, a really sort of cheap mass manufactured coconut smell. It's actually quite nice. This is formulated without oxybenzone or octanoxate for those of you who are concerned with that. Something else that I've been loving for body, even though it's actually for the face, is this one from Neutrogena, their Ultra Sheer Face Mist with a broad spectrum SPF 55. Neutrogena sunscreens have their Helioplex technology, which I have to say that I trust probably more than anything in the drugstore, especially because they've done so many studies and tests um, around the Helioplex just to prove its long-term stability. Um, so this will remain stable. The sunscreen filters will remain stable in their protection. This was newly launched earlier this year, and the formula does not contain octanoxate or oxybenzone for those of you who are concerned with those ingredients. I just find myself reaching for this as a body sunscreen screen all the time. And also it's so handy to bring out with me. Um, and every time I just want to retouch up and just spray it, it's, it's perfect. But also it is probably the lightest of lightweight textures. This is practically invisible. After it dries down, it's like there is nothing there. Also upon application, this is really cooling, which is so nice on overheated limbs. It's actually so refreshing. I would apply this just because I'm trying to cool my skin down. I mentioned in my last video that the way I like to apply body mist is that I pretty much douse my skin until I see a sheen form, a wet sheen form, and then I will just sort of spread. I am doing a separate video on my favorite sunscreens for reapplication purposes, as well as the easiest ways to reapply and over makeup. So these are the sunscreens that have really stood out to me over the last year and that I've been using the most. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.